Okay, I'm closing the curtain. No. No, not from over here. So you're good. <sighs> okay. Where's the spot? Is it right here? I think that's right. My chair has a very particular spot where I have to sit it when I'm doing this so that I can reach the keyboard without my arms building lactic acid while I'm doing it. This desk is a bit wonky for a laptop, that's all I know. Okay, we are live. I need to get Cole on the horn. Hello, SB, Yugman, and Conker. It is going good. How's it going for everybody else? Um, let me get Cole on the horn real quick. Where's Du Boy? Du Boy is offline. I need to go upstairs and yell at him. Where is the boy? Hang on. Stream is live. Okay. He should be on momentarily. And then we should be on momentarily once that is done. Just got some food so you're not hungry during class session later. That's probably a good idea, Conker. It, it's like I've said before, and probably say it again. You can, it's a lot harder to go through classes and try to figure out, you know, what they're all saying if they're if you're feeling hungry, because that usually is like the first thing that comes to mind, at least for me, when that's the case. So, hey Adam, how's it going? We are going to get started in a couple of minutes here. Just waiting for Cole to get online. Cole says technical difficulties, please hold. Let's hope that's uh, not jinxing anything. Okay, let's see here. So once Cole gets on the horn, we'll uh, ask him if he's ready to go and then we'll get started. Uh, if you would like to join us for the final dungeon of the Stormblood streams, the Gimlet Dark, which is coming up in just a few moments, uh, I think we get it as soon as we get the next quest. Uh, if you'd like to join us for it, just head on over to the multiplayer chat. Um, that way I can pick you up as soon as we unlock it. And we can go right in. And then I have a few other things to do after that quest, and then we're good to go. Okay. Oh, call started to call. Ah, hey. there you are. My computer's doing that thing again, where it's just like, oh, you want to connect to the fast internet? What's the fast internet? You're connecting to the range internet. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, it does this every fucking time. Well, that's, uh, that's fun. Oh, boy. Re pain, suffering. Hmm. Relaxing at the moment, going to go scrounging for breakfast slash lunch. Sounds like a plan there, Adam. Hopefully you find something scrumptious for breakfast slash lunch. Yugman is busy right now, so won't be able to join for it. That's alright, Yugman. No problem. We will fight in your stead. Swear to God, if I lag into an AOE, I'm shutting off again. <laughs> well, you are tanking this one, so if you lag into an AOE, you can probably take one or two. Yeah, but what tank wants to have Vaughn stacks? Hmm, that's fair. I just realized something, by the way. I'm sad. Why? What's up? My story skipped to my alt, and by extension, I lost out on the free Fantasia at the end of 50. Like, why did they do that? Oh. 
Yeah, like, fuck my sad. life. You're gonna give me a quest reward important to the plot? God damn. At least let me buy it once in the Calamity Salvager. <laughs> Everybody should at least get one for free. You would think they would give that to you because they give it to you for free at 50. You'd think they'd give it to you as part of your rewards for um, when you do the story skip just to Fantasia for free. It doesn't seem like that bad of a deal to me. But... I go, I'm already skipping across half the fucking story because this is an old. At least give me a Fantasia in case I feel like being a giant dog. Or mm. a giant cat. Mm. Or a bunny girl. Mm. Okay, you logging in? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna log in too. So we can get going. Conquer beat Castro Meridiana last night, very early this morning, and now need to talk to Robon to proceed. Nice, Conquer. Good luck. Praetorium is fun. Hopefully you get it's a group long. that... It is long, that is true. It's like watching a movie. Um, hopefully you get a group that is accommodating to um, first-time players, unlike my main scenario run that I did yesterday, where I had to report three players for being fucking idiots. I quite literally filled out a support, like a, a report ticket, a harassment ticket, because those guys were destroying Man. our off-tank. Why are people so stupid? If you see the thing, like the words in chat, hey, there are new players in here, you don't just go off and do some shit. I don't go all in on tanking if I know the healer's new, because if the healer's new, I'm going to die, we're going to wipe, and it's going to be my fault for being a dumbass. <laughs> yeah, no, it just was... It was a very toxic environment, and there, like I said, there was like three new players in there, and they were being incredibly toxic to them and to our off tank. And one of them was the main tank, and they were being like, you know, that story I described about Castor Murnianum before, where the tank was peeling aggro off of everyone and running in circles so nobody could do positionals, and then complaining about the healers even though they were new. It was basically that tank, except a different person, and also two other players or something like that that were just harassing everyone in the party, like. If you get aggravated Stupidly. for healers not doing their jobs and while at the same time trolling the shit out of the Dragoon in the party so they don't have optimal DPS and then laughing about it, you deserve to go to a circle of hell unnamed. Well, it was a samurai, but, you know, that was being harassed, basically, because they were the new player. It Why doesn't are matter. samurais so hated on, man? What the fuck did they ever do? They just I reported them, and I hope the, the moderator send them to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> because they were being... Why does everybody hate the DPSs, man? Hmm. Stop hating on people just because they're higher on the parse than you, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't think that had anything to do with it, but... It, it's pretty long, Conquer. It's probably like 45 minutes, all things said and done. So, yeah, it'll it'll take a little while to get done. So make sure you have ample time uh, afterwards as well, because there's like half an hour worth of cutscenes and credits afterwards. So it, it's going to take a little bit to get through. Usually the finale of an expansion is fairly long, and it's... Uh, in terms of the, the time amount of time you have to set aside for it, so. Okay, I'm going to log in now. Alright. I'm going to wait in queue also, and then log in now. Wait. I need to figure out which uh, gatherer can make the most money just on its own. I told you, you got to look at what uh, botanist or miner can gather that you could profiteer off of free companies with and then just sell that. Well, the only reason I say that is I'm thinking about just picking up, like, botanist and a uh, miner on my alt to make some extra cash. Hmm. But I'm not sure even how to go about that, because I leveled up botanist, and it took me like a week to go from 0 to 30. Hmm. And I'm just like, why? Hmm. You were right about, like, Disciples of the Hand and Land. After you get to a certain level, they're just like... Cake. Literally, the levels just come pouring in. Yeah. And it's I hate just it. getting over that hump initially. That's uh, that's a problem. Well, here we are. Found a nice spot around the campfire in this place of cloudiness. There's an Ishgardian, an Aldan, a Gridanian, and a technically Limson, even though I'm not from Limsa, I'm part of the Maelstrom. All sitting around sharing campfire stories before we go off to war. I feel like the fact that this is, uh, you know, it, it's bad that it's a big battle and there's going to be a lot of people that are probably going to lose their lives in this, but the camaraderie in the environment here is palpable. Let's just hope that that camaraderie carries the day. 
How you doing, everybody? Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood, the stream edition. I just realized that because I'm in an instanced area, Interceptor's not going to load in, so that's a little sad. i got to remember to pet him when I come out of here. In any case, last time, we finished up with the Heavensward Hildebrand quests, and then headed for... Uh, well, headed back to the Rising Stones, see if there was anything we could do about our friends that are still in a coma. And eventually that scaled all the way over into... Uh, the Empire wanting to declare war again, which is just not cool. So today we're going to hopefully put a stop to that by taking the next quest and finishing this war before it even begins again. Well, not again as it, finishing it before it begins, but finishing before a second war starts. So, all right, Lise, what do we got to do? Almost happened with that dungeon. Assume more people than just you were new to it in the main tank. Think they were a dark knight, just blazed through most of the dungeon, getting big poles. They weren't too toxic. Explain some of the mechanics to us. Okay, well that's not too bad then, I guess. You See, know like what the worst one is toxic healers. Hmm. See, like I always like, like when I'm tanking in main scenario and there's I'm new sure players, I always slow down so people have a chance to absorb the dungeon that. better. You know. But. Still, right. at least we know now. Toxic we healers, though, I just feel like listen, like. With tank in the old days, you used to just be able to voke and then shirk anybody in the party that you didn't like. Nowadays, with healers, they can just rescue you further into packs of enemies and then blame you for dying because you didn't pop cooldowns, even though your eye level's way lower than it should be for the dungeon. Hmm. Healers are way too powerful for toxic bullshit nowadays, and that's <laughs> kind of annoying. Oh, boy. I, I don't know. I haven't run into too many bodies. people like that, although... I usually am the one that's healing in situations where that is possible, and obviously I'm not doing it, so. Listen, toxic healers like that, I just wish there was something DPSs and tanks could do about it. <laughs> like, you're gonna rescue me into a pack of enemies, then watch me die horribly without heals? I'm like, this is your issue, dude. Can I just leave? Can I just, <laughs> like, queue up while I'm in the dungeon to find a new party because my healer's an asshole? I mean, you could vote dismiss them. But... That yeah. won't necessarily work, but it might, so... A toxic anyway. healer as your party lead is the worst fucking situation you can ever get into as the goddamn tank. Hmm. Whether you're good or bad. Right. Anyway... then you have no choice but just leave. Yeah. Anyway, let's uh, talk about... Yeah, we, we kind of can't the kill every other world in order to kill the Asians. That God. seems like way too high a price to pay. Given the Emperor's stated goal, this is a battle we can ill afford to lose. Seriously. Can't let him have his way with the world and, you know, the rest of the worlds. If the Galleons come in force, we may not have much say in the matter, even with our combined strength. Now, come on, Robine, you can't talk like that. that. The odds would be against us. But if there is even the slightest chance of victory, we must do everything in our power to seize it. Exactly. We must seize it, full stop. And there you go. Hoorah! Yeah. Let's take the fight to them, then. Okay, so, General, what should I do? Join an irregular unit and support the main host. I won't bother asking if you're minded to fight. <laughs> I think you already know the answer to that one, General. After coming this far, how could I not? And for once, there's no one around to countermand me. Not that they would. Not even my brother. Yeah, I think Alpha Node would uh, figure discretion's the better part of Valor here and just be like, nah, let's go, let's go kill some Garleans. <laughs> they want to be assholes, then this is their fate. I take no pleasure in this, but if it's for the salvation of Eorzea, I'll do it. Mm. Scare tactics I can do, especially when I'm healing three uh, people that will, you know, destroy the people that are in front of me. So, might I ask you to accompany the Dorman contingent? They are strangers here, and your presence would do much to raise their spirits. Well, that's not a bad idea. What do you think, General? What do you think, Ali? Say, seems like a good idea to me. Everybody else kind of knows where they are and what they're doing, but the Dolmans, yeah, not so much. When our people stride out with you in their midst, I dare say the Eorzeans will feel an ill taller themselves. High spirits have a way of spreading. And I have a good way of spreading them, just by being there most times. It's almost a little scary. commander will not allow it. I'll leave the front lines in your capable hands. All right, Roban, I won't let you down. Don't worry.
did somewhat jokingly tell everyone in the dungeon in the beginning, other than the fact you were new, that you try not to floor tank, which you didn't. Well, that's good. <laughs> Ready your arms. The hour of battle has come. On this day, we will lay the Garleans low and we take back our land. Hear, hear. Ura. For Alamigo and all that. And, you know, every other place in the Alliance. Since we're all friends now. But that's good, Conquer. It's good because you don't want to... I mean, you'd be excused for it happening because, you know, it's your first time in the dungeon. But you don't want to... If you can afford not to give in to the meme, then don't. <laughs> Since the others couldn't be here, we'll have to fight twice as hard. If Elfino wakes to find the Imperials have won, I shall never hear the yeah. end of it. Yeah, he would probably have a lot to say to you if that was the case. <laughs> it's strange. I thought I would be terrified when the fighting started. Really? Hmm. I mean, it is a I war, I guess. Terrified. But with you at our side, I can't help feeling everything is going to be alright. <laughs> no pressure for me, then. Don't worry, Ali, so say, I got this. Don't you dare leave me alone. I wouldn't dream of it. Don't you worry. I know, I know, it's it's serious, but I, I got your back. I'll be here. I'm not going That's anywhere. What happens. We have to survive together. Right, exactly. It's more serious than I've ever seen her, but she's right, so. So we have accepted the quest. And the Gimlet Dark, the final dungeon in the Stormblood Streams, is now accessible. I see I got back just in time. Yes, you did. Okay, oh. let's formulate our party. Let's get Cole in here. Let's get Espy in here. Cole, go ahead to streaming chat, and I will go there in a minute. <laughs> yeah, like that. <laughs> okay. So... Head over here. I am here, and now let's pull SB in so that he is here as well. There we go. And now we're here. I'm gonna go back to my seat by the fire before we start. Oh. Let's get excited. Oh, yeah. Hey, look, I'm they so already, uh, all my buddies that were sitting at the campfire with me already left for the battlefield. Quick question. Oh yeah. I would say, I would say, oh. I know what I would say you would do. Are you planning on just finishing all the Stormblood today? Because I think by the time you're at this point, uh, there's really no, like, better point than just at the end for, like, leaving off. I cannot tell you. That is a secret that I will keep until the end of the stream. But oh. you'll find out in, in the moment anyway. You'll find out probably within the next hour anyway where I'm planning okay. on stopping, so... I will say, though, that my stream's going to be basically picking up right where I left it off, although I might need a second Fantasia for my alt. Hmm. Oh, boy. What's money? I don't know what that is. <laughs> I only have virtual money. It's, it's not actual real money. Okay, uh, Cole's tanking, I'm healing. SB, whatever DPS you want to play, feel free. I'm going on Bard. All right. Is everybody ready to hop into the Gimlet Dark? I was about to suggest, dark? please go in on, like, a ranged DPS or a uh, magic <laughs> DPS. Helped. Why? Is there any particular reason for that, or...? Uh, I can't say. Ah. Well, we'll find out, won't we? All right. Oh, Let's I know why. I know why. This place looks like a... I've been like in this a... dungeon before, and it's, it's a pain in the ass if you don't have, like, a it's ranged... It's a really good dungeon, but... This place looks like a frickin' war zone based on the little splash screen there. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, so, okay. Oh hi. You know how I said that scholar was gonna be it was appropriate for this dungeon. Yeah. I'm ready when you guys are. By the way. Okay. Cole, good to go. Yeah. Yep. Um, okay. I'll listen to Espy's reason and then I'll cue in. Yeah. So this is a battlefield. Yes, it Spoiler is. Spoiler alert: the war is happening in a war on war grounds. Next. And you know how scholar's a military tactician. Yes, a strategist. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's the. Uh, that's what it is. I see. I also uh, figured not, that the uh, Alamegan uh, hood basically would be appropriate, especially since I'm leading a contingent into battle. That seems like it would make sense. Like, I just did this honestly because I was like, well, it's the last dungeon. Scholar's kind of a focal point class for the thing, and so I'll heal it. But it, it's worked out 
fairly well, I think, so. God, I've been waiting to get to this dungeon for so long. <laughs> Money, is that an emotion? If you don't get that reference, I'll be sad. I've been super excited for this dungeon for a I while. am sorry, Conquer. I don't think I get the reference. <laughs> Please explain. Because I, I don't get it, unfortunately. <laughs> okay, I'm going to queue us up for the Gimlet Dark. All right. So, uh, you know how uh, we get alliance rings when we level boost, Jimmy? Yes. This is where you get them. Oh, okay. I see. The alliance gear is from here. I see. If the alliance code of healing and or fending comes up, dibs. <laughs> I don't need that stuff, so you go ahead. I think it's for glamour. Mm. I would like to be an extremely right. warm white mage. Let's get excited. <laughs> Shh. Sick. Music. Wait, wait, why are you guys running ahead of us? You're supposed to wait for me! I'm supposed to lead you, not follow you! <laughs> oh boy. I love this song. It's very good. It's very good. It's the best fucking dungeon song in the game. For Let's go, Selene, before Cole know, gets too far example. ahead of himself. <laughs> We're literally everything. You'll, you'll be fine. I got you. Let me just get my ether flow real quick. Oh, hey, yeah, he's following us. Nice. He's actually listening. <laughs> uh, maybe don't stand in that, though. That looks like death. Oh, what gave you that idea? Uh, I don't know. The big red marker, maybe? I'm just going to get in here. Eh. It's from Fairly Odd Parents when Timmy's dad became super smart and was in a conference of scientists. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if I remember that episode, honestly. I've seen most of the Fairly Odd Parents episodes. It's just, I don't know if I remember that one, unfortunately. I need my bullets. Give them to me. What is happening? They are blasting away the debris. Oh, the scientist questioned if love was an emotion. <laughs> oh, boy. Crazy guys. Yeah, so, uh... Just a quick like thing while we're just doing rolls. Um, sure. This is technically at this point in the story, Jarek is still with you. Yes. Um, you can keep going, I think. Oh, okay. Wherever you want to go, Cole. I will momentarily stop Art of Warring. Oh, I still uh, have cooldowns off. Cool. But afterwards, yeah. Jarek is going to stay in uh, Alamigo because that's where he's from. Okay. And so well, that makes this sense. This is. Uh, the character who will be joining me for the Avengers Shadowbringers, who I, I see. was really excited to play and couldn't wait to play Nice. Also, you gotta love uh, me wearing a helmet in the last episode of Stormblood, even though I've already got the Fantasia Shadowbringers look going. Double oh, well. I don't know if that x card's gonna... Well, really? actually, no, it'll go off. It just might take a minute. Yeah, as you can off. see, the dungeon actually doesn't hit very hard at all, so... Yeah, it's not too bad. I've popped the whole cool two cooldowns. I do find that I have to use Lucid a little more often, though, when I'm, uh, what's it called, doing uh, these later patch dungeons, just because I, I use more MP doing more Art of Wars than I usually do. So. That yeah. bastard stole my look! <laughs> Vegeta, he stole your do! I'll kill him! Oh, no. <laughs> well, maybe don't that's say that, because then he might eat you. <laughs> that's Jarring blow. Okay, that's Boom. a uh, yeah, tankbuster. I got an X-Cog for you. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> what? Okay. Hey, hey! Magitech Slash. We'll do one of those. Uh, okay, so this is safe? Uh, yeah. This this may be safe. Oh my god, he keeps going! Oh. Okay! <laughs> okay, so he does one full circle round. Got it. Apparently so. Well, hello. Goodbye. <laughs> hello, we goodbye. Went. Hello, goodbye. We went to opposite directions there. Cerulean vent. No. Commodore. I'm helping. Yeah. Hey. I dropped my dots. Rot row. Okay. Okay, he's gonna turn this way, so we gotta go over here. And then go 
here. Aha. Uh, oh, he's going to keep going. Okay. <laughs> All the way around to the other side. Yeah. Just had to wait for the, the heat to go away. He did make pizza with this big attack. Pizza French fry. I don't know. I didn't see if the AoEs looked like French fries. Uh, I'm going to get out of here before I get jarring blow. Like French fries. Magitek oh. Ray. Hello, friends. Hello. Everybody stay here for a Whispering Dawn, Goodbye, even though I'm pretty sure you'd get it anyway, so. Oh. I actually didn't get it because I jumped out. <laughs> I'm helping! Well, I gave I you an indom anyway, so. I popped second lane, it's fine. Okay. Cerulean Vent again. Almost makes me wish I had recitation, but I don't. It's okay, though. I'll be fine. Uh, spread? Yeet. Oh, that was a 25. No! <laughs> Just because I can move anywhere I want doesn't make me want to. Move. Right, nice. good shit. That makes no sense, never mind. We know what you meant. <laughs> Did you? Maybe. Man, my reprise was on point today. <laughs> Am I Using them 60 this? second cooldowns. I should probably pop lose it since my MP is not quite back yet. Basically, you can just go, like, forever, and eventually you'll have to stop and go no one. You'll this hit a curve. wall. I heard a bunch of target markers. I'm coming to you. And can't hit what they can't catch. Feet. Do this. Ha 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 there's so many fucking procs I that had Apex Hero right now. <laughs> I'm okay. You have XCOG, you're fine. Ah, uh, yes, I forgot. We actually get half decent moves at this level. Yeah. I also have Fey Union and Chain Strat, none of which I've used so far. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I just haven't. Why am I yet. the way? We're used to tanking, that's pretty. I'm not, though. Fair enough. Okay, so I could have kept going from here. Yeah, you can keep going. Like, if you want. How close is oh, that X count to going? Okay. I don't think. I thought that was the end of the pole back there. I catalyzed the shit out of you. It kind of is. I'm at the point where I'm just... Oh, okay. Hello, Cliff. Back to Hullbreaker so Isle normal. I'm at the point where I'm just burning Ether Flow stacks so that I can get more Fey Union Bar. <laughs> Big ol' war zone. You can keep going. The last straight oh, through. Oh, I can. Cool. XCOG is on, so run to your heart's content. Also, things are targeting me. Is that a card, Scorpion? <laughs> Uh, Hello! It might be. Okay, uh, time to pop the cooldowns. Uh, at least stop dying. Uh, I got min on, uh... Target search. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh, double uh-oh. Uh, no, seriously, at least stop dying. <laughs> I don't think she can die. Uh, her HP was pretty low, but maybe she can. I don't know. I don't want to take that chance. <laughs> I don't want to create a time paradox. I don't know about this. Um, I think if you look around, you can see other people out, like fighting as well. Like, I'm told by the like Merle Blib is somewhere in the distance, but I don't. I, I don't know if that's Admiral Slapperson. There. Yeah, there's like a whole bunch of uh, NPC allies just like off and around. And there's Pippin right there. Interesting. Oh, oh yeah, okay. This guy is tricky. What do we got? Okay, fine. Prometheus. Okay, so everybody remember, when you run away from his AoEs, you can't run in a straight line. He owns that property. He's made a school out of it. <gasps> I don't get it. It's a Prometheus Cinema Sense reference. Away from things. It's a Cinema Sense reference. Nitro oh. Spin. Okay, so we're probably about next time. Hey! Uh, I didn't finish my DPS combo! Where are you going? Eh. Uh, there's um, a big ol' heap sink in the wall. We should so probably get out of the way. You know how you said there's just a straight line? How fortuitous. I have no idea if that's the intent, but that's what happens. 
I mean, I think that sometimes they are aware of, like, internet memes and shit in this game, uh, so... Oh, tank cluster. Yay, yeah, have an x guy. Hey, look, I have a hundred Fey Union bar. Can you just give it to Cole and he won't need healing for the rest of the fight? Yes. Me. I'll wait a minute. No, 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 I usually use it for trash pulls, though. Oil shower. Oh, oh I should get out of that. Nice. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. He just, he was trying to throw up on me. I didn't appreciate it. So you threw up on him back? Yeah, something like that. Damn, that was through reprisal and hard of light. Hey, I don't know call. if it's physical, actually. Uh, it's probably AOE because most it's probably Freezing magical. missile! Um. Now he's starting the ice stuff up. Oh. Okay. Well. Goodbye! <laughs> there he goes again. Alright, where's he gonna come out of this? To oh, hello. Uh, I see where he's gonna come out of, and we're gonna need to leave. <laughs> Thanks for rescuing me, Jeff. Boom. Oh. I got him. Not that anybody else can get him, but I got him. Uh, how about we do one of these real quick? And then I will give him a lustrate in a minute. There we go. Cole, have an ad low. Because this is probably gonna, yeah, hurt a little. Ooh. Just a little bit, yeah. Let's get rid of him before he tries to give us another shower. There we go. Very good, very good. Oh, this way. Follow the treasure Scouting! chest. I'll take the belt and the right. bracelet just for stuff for, uh... Loten. Just for my, uh... You underestimate me! My seals, so... Is that Emmerich? Oh, yeah, Emmerich's right there. Oh, nice. I could barely see him underneath the rear guard guy. Uh, so is, uh, Connie Senna. Oh, yeah, yeah, I saw her. Nice! Everyone is, is joining up for us here. No, I don't think we can. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is a really good dungeon. Out of my way! Uh, like, yeah, the reason boy. I love this dungeon is because it feels like the end of Stormblood. Like, this is it's super cinematic. It's yeah, one yeah. It's great. It's pretty cool. Just refresh Let that. Let my Imperial arrow stop dying. <laughs> Cole, that we're killing them too quickly. Scala Colossus. Hello. Hey, man, as long as you don't summon the Mammon Machine, I think we'll be okay. Oh, goodbye. Yeah. Oh, hey, look, Hein and Emmerich spread out. Yep. Oh, the nice. absolute madman. Let me get my ether flow back. Let me give Cole a quick add low real quick. So the next enemy that comes in, hello. Ah. Next enemy that comes in can target me immediately. Oh, another Magna Rotor. They, I mean, to be fair, they probably mass produced these things. It just, at this point, it's almost like an in joke. I'm gonna use Energy Drain because it also gives me 10 Fey Union. That's quite nice. I think I have that already, so I'm just oh, gonna... They're mad at you, Jimmy. Oh, no, they're mad at... Why are they mad at Cole? Uh, I might have been outside of their targeting area. I'm not sure. Like, I wasn't in their line of sight, so maybe they just got pissed at Cole. In, like, as a proxy for me. <laughs> Help is on the way, <laughs> friends! As one. Now everyone really is here. Yeah, it's super cool. And, I th and like I said, I think you can see Merlweb up in the somewhere, but I'm not sure where. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Hey. Hang in Stop there, Cole. Them. XCOG's almost up. Oh, hello. Away. I'm out of here. I chased you out of my range. <laughs> Stop. Eh. Oh, you still have XCOG. I'm like healing you like you don't have XCOG anymore. Meanwhile, there it oh, is. Not you again! I need to stun you every time your invuln comes up. Oh boy. Um, Unbreakable Sermet Blade. That sounds bad. Oh, hello. Apparently, Connie Senna knows. Uh, what's the astro skill? Collective Conscious. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. I, I couldn't think of it. Someone's.
Whoa, hello. Give him a little bit of continuation there, Cole. Enzo Kuken! I almost want to chain strat this guy. He's not dying very quickly. I might just do that. Self detonate. Uh, I'm chain stratting him. Oh, at least give it to him! Give it to him! Bah. Nice. God damn. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Get Fun absolutely fact. bodied. Thank you, Lise. It can also be Yugiri or Hien who out because Hien dedicates his strike to uh, Kosetsu. Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> it's, it's super cool. And I have three Ether Flow and 70 uh, Fey Union bars, so. I could only be slightly more ready. Oh, it's the guards from the uh, from the meeting. It really wasn't that impressive. We're geared to shit. <laughs> I'm glad that you are willing to be brief. I only have so much time to deal with you. By the way, Jimmy, hey look, somebody else who uses a long gun blade. Oh yeah, that's that's fair. Must be a style then. Yeah, it's very nice, I agree. <laughs> Ready, Cole? Let's hop in. Mm -hmm. oh, We're so dropping in on him. Alright, pick your poison. My Red time. pill or blue pill, Cole? You chose wisely. Alright, keeps up on the on the blue pill. Okay. Where is blue pill? Uh, I heard blue pill. Oh, there's blue pill. Okay, I'm gonna just uh, generally stay out of the way. <laughs> Ooh! That's a little That's spicy. A That's a little spicy. I actually need cooldowns for this. Order to bombard sounds bad. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, oh double okay. Sure cast! <laughs> oh, that's me. Get me the hell out of there. Okay, everybody go in so I can whispering. Why did you sure cast? How did you know that I would do that? Oh, that was a rush bar. That was a gorilla rush bar. It, it moved when I moved, so that's how I knew. Uh, uh, okay. Well, I mean, not all, those don't always knock back. Oh. Uh, that's the tank buster. Well, I right guess now. it could have been <laughs> worse. Double oomph. Um, oh, I'm getting uh, hurts. targeted. I have hurts a lot. There's Bane. Interesting. Oh, okay. Stop. <laughs> uh, are you stuck at point one? Yes. Most impressive, but you are not a Jedi yet. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, stay out of there. Uh... Hi, Jimmy. Hello. Oh, okay, they follow the lines. Okay, I see. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm okay, I only took two of them. Uh, are one of you gonna fight? Okay, there we go. Artificial plasma sounds like... Uh, yeah, Rewind. that's what I thought. Okay, I'll go pause a little next time. In a sense. Oh, hello. <laughs> I think that's the Good thing Cole has an X-Cog on him. You know what I should do, though? Come oh, God. Space. Ready the tanks. <laughs> so I should do that. Oh, I'm standing right next to one. That's not good. Um, oh. oh. Okay. Uh, okay, so run to the one that's that exploded, then. Okay. How did I avoid most of that? <laughs> uh, Cole, when that X cog goes off, I'm gonna give you Fey Union. Cool. I don't have that. There you go. Whoa! I have a nature's mid. I reprised with that. Just in time. Didn't get the heart of light uh, off. I don't think I can whispering the ninja from here, so I'm just gonna sucker. Killer. Whoa! Oh! Okay, 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 okay! <laughs> the order. I think she's stuck again. Artificial plasma. Stop that. You're making me heal more than I should. <laughs> okay, uh, Mr. Ninja didn't get it. It's okay though. The order part two. The new world order? I guess. Are they gonna do the same uh, pinball thing again? Yes. As they said twice. Oh, hello. But okay. Is that? I lied. It's not the same. Well, okay. I need to be it's a little bit away from here. Slightly more difficult because you have to not stack. Yeah. All right. I see. Alright. So now. Artificial boost! Oh. I have a bad feeling about this. 
Jarek, you know what to do. That will help. Pierce straight through their hearts. Very both nice. Both of them basically need to die around the same time. Very nice, I see. No, they don't. They just, you just need to kill both of them. Before oh. they uh, do their little attack thing. Hey, finding dropped. Ah. Is that the one you want hey. to call? It's the two antagonists from Vanquish, yeah. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> well, yes, oh, that's man. one of the ones that I wanted was the Alliance Code Fending, so I'm on. Yay. A light bomb. What the hell? Why do all the Gothans have these? <laughs> That's not a monk skill or a gunbreaker skill. You're cheating. Good job, team. I don't have either. I don't have flash grenades. Not anymore. Uh, <laughs> you don't see my ear logo because of my hat. Okay. Bye. Have fun. Oh, okay. God, thanks for coming for Gimlet yeah. Dark there, SB. Appreciate the work. You're welcome. Yay. Oh, yeah. You need to. There you go. I got it. Well, yeah, because you didn't want to leave before I passed on it, so you'd get it. <laughs> Rip. If you would have left before I passed on it, I would have gotten it, and then it would have been very upsetting for you. It's a nice code. It's true. I, I don't think I'd use it, but you know. For a Doman shit? Absolutely. How does, it, how does it look like? Let's see. Oh, that's not bad. It's kind of cool looking. It's diable. I don't think, think it would work with my helmet, though, but I've got kind of works with it. Anyway, I'm going to leave the dungeon now. Thank you, Celine. <sighs> War's over. No, no, I'm sure there's more to it than just that. <laughs> We've probably dealt the blow, but... Well, they didn't really pose a terrible amount of threat, so... I had hoped we might do more to help, but there seems to be no one left to fight. What did they do? A tactical withdrawal? A tactical withdrawal, perhaps? Hey, I just said that. I just said that. You, Geary, and I are on the same page. As always. give chase. Finish them off while we have the chance. It's probably a good idea. If we can get them into, like, an armistice or peace talks or just an agreement of some kind, that would be a good idea. And there's that. We could hold that over their heads forever. So. Oh, crap! Not now! Not now! Why does this always happen at the most inconvenient moments? I don't know who the hell this is talking in my head right now, but when I find them, I am putting them on the end of my spear. Oh, my God. Throw. What gates, man? What are you talking about? No. No. Ellie, say, hang on, hang on. I think it's almost over. I feel like it's going away. Stay with me, girl. Oh my god, no. Not her, too. Please don't tell me this is what I think it is. Don't tell me. Are you all right? I'm fine. What about her? I mean, throbbing headache, but... We must get her back to the encampment. Yeah, we gotta make sure that this isn't what I think it is, because if it is what I think it is... Oh, God. Spoiler alert, I'm fairly certain it is what I think it is. Okay. Robon, please don't tell me. What I'm pretty sure you're about to tell me. <laughs> yes, they have. We, uh, we, we plowed through the majority of their forces and, uh, forced a tactical withdrawal from two of their commanders, I would assume, so. Let's hope it's not a war of attrition. I don't think either side could afford that. I mean, the Garleans could probably afford it more than us, but... Good. Good to hear the line is holding. Okay, so have they made a, a diagnosis yet? A prognosis, even? Damn it! Not her, too. Why does this keep happening? What is with this guy? Why does he keep taking my friends? Again, if I'm the only one he wants. If only I can stop the looming calamity. Why is he taking my friends? Please, Robon, because we, we need her there with the others, so that way they're all in the same place. The doctors can all take care of them at the same time. Okay, so hopefully when the Far East gets here, they'll, uh, you know, they'll be ready to go. Alright. Keep keep everything together around here, Hein. I'll, uh, 
I don't know what I'm gonna do. What do you need me to do, General? Well, I hope so. We just destroyed a big bulk of their forces, at least a few platoons, so... I mean, I guess. I, I gotta make sure Alice gets there okay anyway, so I guess there's that. Okay. We gotta head back to the Rising Stones to make sure Alice got there alright, so let's do that. We're the last ones left. I know. It's ridiculous, man. Wish they'd stop. Like, good lord. We need to we need to find whoever did this. We probably also need to find out how to fix what's going on. I mean, those might be one and the same. That might be a single objective and to kill two birds with one stone, but you know. Unfortunately, that's kind of a problem at the moment. The Garleans won't be launching an offensive in the near future, but they're still coming. What are you going to do, stay at the battlefield? I mean, Robon would probably appreciate it if you did. I, I can go back to the Rising Stones if you want to stay there. I'll, I'll make no. sure Ali stays here if you're going to go the there. The Garleans wouldn't launch an offensive after the losses they took. At the very least, you and me can go back to the Rising Stones together and inform the other Scions of what's going on. All right, and that's what we'll do. Once that's over, though, I need to get back to the battlefield. Makes I hear they're sense. bringing in a new contingent of Gunblade users, possibly just to... Possibly just to salvage some of the Garlean tech in the battlefield. So Maybe you're training. gonna you're gonna be training them. Yeah. Okay. Well, that makes sense. They they couldn't have picked anybody better, to be fair. So. All right, Hori. I need some good news, please. Oh, she isn't here yet. I was hoping they would have gotten her here by now. I. I have a story to tell you then, Hori. It's not a good one. She kind of is in the same condition as everybody else at this point. Yeah, that's what I said. Please, because she needs to... We, they all need to have the same treatment. If we diverge the treatments in any way, then we might not be able to fix them all at the same time, so... Yeah, I don't think that's going to be good news for her. Damn it. Alright, we'll keep doing what you can. We gotta keep fig trying to figure this out. And if we keep uh, putting our heads together, we'll figure it out. I don't know if I could do that, to be honest, Tori. I know you're saying to rest, but it's kinda hard. <laughs> Considering what's going on. Alright. So maybe we... Maybe we'll give it a quick breather. I do have two other little things to go look into. Meanwhile, at the border of Alamigo... Hey look, I made that smoldering crater. Well, with three other people's help. Oh, is that who I think it is? Oh dear god. <laughs> I mean, I guess when they took those kinds of losses, they'd want to bring in the heavy hitters, but... Oh, I was hoping he wouldn't get here yet. Great. I sense a great disturbance in the Force. <laughs> what is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Say it again with me. Alright, Hori, keep me post posted. You have my number, just give me a call. If there's any change whatsoever, I want to be here to see it, okay? I gotta go take care of a couple of errands. They're done exploring Palace of the Dead at Quarry Mill. I gotta go check in on that. And then the Smiths it wanted to see me, so I'll just catch them in Gridania as well. Just please, keep me posted, okay? Let me know if anything changes. I'll be back. I know your errands are relatively important, but something doesn't bode well. Yeah, I know. I've, I've, got I've got that feeling, too. That's going to happen. Yeah, I've got that feeling, too. And I Come back to Alliance it. HQ whenever you can. I'll be there. If anything yeah. goes wrong, I'll try to contact you, but knowing the Garleans, they're going to be cutting off our communication to the outside world. Yeah, I really hope they don't, like, signal jam us or something. That would suck. Yeah. Alright, well, I'll meet you at Alliance HQ, then, once, uh, once, I'm, once I'm needed. Keep me posted, huh? Okay, will do. Alright, come on Parvati, we got places to be. Actually, let me, um, do I play her? I'll play her music, why not? There we go. I'll turn on her music for this. 
Okay, that's what I thought. All right. I know it's a little colder here than you're used to, Parvati, but I'm just giving it a chance to give myself a chance to run. I need some I need some air to figure out how I feel about all of this. <laughs> so. Well, okay. Hello. No, thank you, Mud Puppy. I don't know what you're selling, but I'm not buying it. Now well, it should get warmer once we get across this little line here. I could be teleporting at this point, but I get the feeling that um, the remainder of the stream isn't going to be a, a terribly... Like, I don't think it's going to take terribly long to get through the next little bit that I have to do, so... Um, I'm, I'm purposely running uh, instead of that. It, it's not only an in-character thing where it's like, okay, I need to get some air, there's some crazy shit happening. But um, also because, uh, you know, that way we can try to drag the stream out a little bit so that it gets to closer to the three-hour mark, if possible. Okay, so into Gridania we go. Just need to head off to uh, Mother Mione's place. I probably could have gone to Alda to check it, where it would be more fitting, because, you know, I started there, so only right that the smiths uh, talk to me there, but, eh, it's all right. To be honest, it's more of an, I started in Alda, and then I um, did the Hall of the Novice in Limsa, so now coming to Gridania for what they're about to talk to me about might make some sense, so... That way it kind of rounds it all out, you know, into the three major city-states for stuff that the smiths have to tell me. Do I have anything else to repair? No, I don't. Okay. All right, let's go to the inn and see what they have to tell me, and then we'll head to Quarry Mill from there. I think it's a good idea, by the way, while I'm um, running around in these places, to take some time to talk about my overall thoughts on um, Stormblood and its patch content as a whole. Um, I will do that once we get done with what I'm doing with the smith here because I'm basically there now. I just need to go up a flight of stairs and then I'm good. So, so we'll get to that, but in a moment. For now, let's uh, see what I can do for the Hall of the Novice. I'm not exactly a novice anymore. If anything, I'm fairly well experienced. Don't let the fact that I have the little sprout next to my name fool you. That's just because I'm not up to current content, so... Okay, what can this veteran do for you, sir? Uh, I don't know. I think your boss told me to come see one of you, and maybe it's eight. I don't know. What's What do you have in mind? A mentor, huh? I mean, I have a lot of knowledge accumulated about the things that I've done, to be fair. <laughs> hmm. Well, give me a little more info. What have I got as a men What do I get as a mentor, exactly? I'm not saying what's in it for me. I'm just saying, like, what are the responsibilities and stuff? Right. Okay. So Eorzea has a thriving population of heroes. Amongst these champions, mentor is the title given to veteran players who have chosen to offer their time and experience to help guide new adventurers. You don't have to do that, though. It's, you, you can do that as a mentor, but you don't have to. <laughs> and you can specialize in PvE, PvP, or, as the case might be for me, synthesis and gathering. I will show you in a moment. I have a crafter and a gatherer that meet the requirements for the uh, crafting and gathering mentor status, and that's why this is a thing, so... Figured uh, now would be as good a time as any to check in about this. Uh, by accepting the role of mentor, you'll gain access to the Novice Network chat channel that I've already closed out because it's not really useful at all. And you'll be granted a bonus to experience points earned when grouping with a new adventurer, which is also not useful to me because I currently have no classes to raise. <laughs> I don't want to get anything above 75 because then I'm, I'm already halfway to the level cap for Shadowbringers and it seems like too much. So, And you can register for Mentor Duty Roulette, which I don't think I'll do because there are only specific duties for that and it's really not it's not worth it so uh, anyway yeah we don't want to be as part of the novice network so um let me give it some thought there sir let me give it some thought I just figured I'd check in with you there to see what it was all about and that's 
interesting. I'll have to think about it. I'm really more thinking about it because of the fact that I don't know if I want the novice network to be anywhere. I guess I could just turn it off. So, But I, I noticed that at one point um, that I met the requirements for that when I was off screen a couple of days ago. So I figured I'd just throw that in here for the hell of it. Uh, Lancer's Guild, I think, because then I can go through Eastern, uh, the Eastern Shroud and head straight to Quarry Mill from there, so. Uh, let's see, down here. So yeah, overall thoughts on Stormblood stuff. Um, well, it's, uh, it's kind of, for me, to be honest, I think Stormblood's been a bit of a tale of two extremes. I think I used that phrase when I was talking about it during the credits after the final boss of the 4.0 stuff. And, um, yeah, I don't know if that's really changed all that much, because, uh, <laughs> 4.1, 4.4, .4, and 4.5 have been very good. 4.2 and 4.3 were very less good for me, uh, story-wise. I want to be clear here when I'm talking about this. I'm talking story-wise. Story has primarily been the thing about Stormblood that has, uh, it's been, it's been bugging me, and it's... When I, when I get mad about it, when I get over the top about it on the screen, I just want to make sure I'm clear about it. It's First of all, it's just my opinion. Second of all, I'm getting over the top about it on the, for the purpose of entertainment. Um, I'm not mad that Stormblood Story sometimes uses contrivances and other things like that. I'm just, really, I'm disappointed, which I think is, in some cases, worse. Um, but, yeah, like, where the story shines, I think it shines very well, but where the story doesn't shine, it's egregiously bad, like, in certain places. Like, it's... Uh, rough. Very rough in some places. Um, overall, I'd say that's that's the thing that I'm iffy on about the whole thing. And then, uh, of course, there's also the price modeling thing that I'm iffy on that I found out about uh, when I went to get Shadowbringers. But again, I'm, I'm laying that against Stormblood because I think in this case Stormblood is not in the uh, it's great category for me. It's in the it's pretty good or all right category for me. Um, and I'd rather not levy that against um, Shadowbringers because it would instantly knock it down a peg. Uh, but yeah, other honestly, other than the story stuff and the um, and the issue with price modeling that they have in terms of their their devious plan to get me to get the other expansions for free every single time I want to buy a new one. Other than that, Stormblood's been very good. Um, the dungeons have been very well done. The mechanics have been pretty cool. Um, the uh, the music has been very good. Honestly, I think the music in this expansion has been a, a genuine step up from Heaven's Ward, and that's saying something because a lot of Heaven's Ward's music I I liked quite a bit. So, um, it's it's like I said, it's a bit of a, a double extreme thing there. It's there's either some there's some very good things, there's some very bad things that I see, and I think overall it balances itself out to be just about in the middle. So, yeah, that's where I'm sitting with it, honestly. So. In any case, let's see uh, how things went when they explored the inside of Palace of the Dead after we murdered Nybeth Abdelord there. Uh, that is me, yes. Well, me and a couple of other people, yeah. What's up? What do you guys need? Oh. Okay. So have you guys deciphered them yet, or...? Oh, great. <laughs> Well, I'll do what I can. I don't know if I can really... I don't know if I'll be able to read it, but I'll see what I can do. It might be in sorcerer speak. Oh, they're at Isamhar. Okay, gotcha. All right, Confucius, let's head over to Isamhar then and see what we can do to help them. So. I always drop frames around Quarry Mill because of all the people that are there for Palace of the Dead. It's kind of a shame. I need a better computer, man. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, ah, right over here. Okay. Hello there. I was told that you have some documents for me to look at concerning Nybeth Abdelord, the fell sorcerer from Palace of the Dead. The man who would stop at nothing to revive the person that he loved. Boy, that's ringing a little bit close to home at the moment, isn't it? <laughs> and what's the rub? Okay, that could be a bit of a problem then. I'm not exactly 
well versed in deciphering hieroglyphs here. Oh, hey, it's um, Ayuna Kotor, I think. The, there's another Pagel that stands around Palace of the Dead all the time. So, from a completely different world, you think he's from one of the? Well, actually, does this soldier guy know about the shards? I don't know. Does Ayuna Kotor know about the shards? I think all of that is a question that we won't get an answer to. Kind of hard to read it when it's still rolled up there, man. Just, just saying. Oh yeah, the echo. Yeah, I, I'm uh, well versed in it. Yeah, although lately they've been giving me incredible migraines. If those are echo visions, it's it's more of a hallucination, I guess. But you know, that's not a bad idea. Maybe. I mean, I might not be able to decipher the document, but I might be able to see what he's. Uh, got going on. Okay. This feels a little more like an echo vision. All right. Not like the migraines I've been getting. Yeah, that's the bottom of Palace of the Dead, all right. Oh, well, you picked the wrong person there, man. Her her lover is in the ethereal sea, so that's where she wants to go. I think this is a reference back to um, Tactics Ogre again. I think that's the main protagonist that he's referring to of Tactics Ogre. I think it's the guy up there in the, on the stairs who's cloaked in shadow. I forget, to be honest. I, it would kind of help if I played Tactics Ogre before doing the Tactics Ogre dungeon, but you know. So, I'm the reason why she's stuck here? Or just the reason why she's, uh... Maybe he's just feeling her connection to me, you know? It, it wasn't much of a connection. We kind of, you know, killed her at one point after the whole problem that they had in the early dungeons, so... So that's why he sicked her on us originally. Okay. We, we fought Etta on floor 50 of Palace of the Dead a while ago. This was off screen, so you guys didn't see it. But um, we fought her again, and it was, uh, it was a fight. That's for sure. <laughs> it was harder than Nybeth at the time. Crazy guy, I'll tell you what. He, he was so obsessed, you know? So obsessed with that idea of just peeling his wife back from the dead. Like, it's just let her sleep, man. I know what you want, but you can't have her back. It, it, would, it would backfire. In some way, shape, or form, it would backfire. And then where would you be? Well, uh... He was using Etta and a bunch of other people as an experiment to try to revive his wife. Yeah. Yeah, uh, he, he seems like an ends justifies the means kind of guy, and I incredibly disagree 
in this case. I mean, you don't have to believe it, but... Mm, I think you're looking past the main point here, Aeon Kotor. Uh, yeah, I'll say. I mean, <laughs> consider the fact that so many different, like, void sent spirits were drawn to Tamtara Deepcroft, which is directly above Palace of the Dead, and then in Palace's halls themselves, the dead bodies and the experiments that he had drew in a whole n manner of dark energies. So, like, what he did was just. There was no way it could have been worth it. Yeah. Well, I understand why you needed people to go down there now, at the very least. Yeah. See, this is hitting close to home, because here's the problem, right? He, he was a depraved monster who saw the dead as mere playthings, and he would stop at literally nothing to bring back his wife from this permanent feeling sleep that she's in. And this is ringing very true here because we have five members of our essentially second family who are all stuck in the same comatose state. And here I am running all over the place like a chicken with my head chopped off trying to figure out the solution to it. Oh man, I don't know. I'd like to think I'm better than this dread sorcerer necromancer guy, but it depends on how deep the obsession goes, right? Yeah, he what he did went way too far. What he did went way too far. Well, I hope so. They've suffered long enough. There's going to be a lot of players that are leveling their classes that are going to be very unhappy with you if you do that, but <laughs> I think that's only within my own circle, so, like, as in only on my game. Well, that takes care of that. It's given us a bit to think about, though. <laughs> Dead tired. It's given us a bit to think about, though, isn't it? Maybe it would be best to let the let the doctors try to figure things out at this point, because, you know, they're doing the best that they can. And if we run around trying to find, like, the, uh, like, obsessively trying to find the method to revive them, desperately trying everything that we can to bring our friends back, are we better off than Nybeth? Are we better off than Zeno Cerverus, who also pursue their goals with an undying obsession? for no good necessarily reason. Our reasoning is good, but then again, wanting to see your wife again can seem like a very good reason until you end up on the other side and there's tens of thousands of bodies on your watch, you know? I need to think about this. And I think I know where I can do a little bit of thinking because in addition to the thinking about this part, someone recently asked for my help with something back at the Dolman Enclave. So let's go see what they need my help with. I think it's right here. Yeah, it's right there. All right. So this is the Shazen Kai, and they sent me a message along with the vanguard to the uh, the front lines there, saying once the fighting was over, if I was in the area, I could come check in on them. And to be fair, at this point, the fighting is not starting. The, you know, the Garleans aren't making a move, so let's see what they need. Anything I can do to pass the time, you know, while I think about all this. Oh, well, you know, don't worry about it. I was in the neighborhood. I heard you guys needed help, so got nothing better to do at the moment. 
Are you ever going to stop bowing? I appreciate the, the deference, but you don't... I'm not your king or anything like that. Like, I'm not Hein. You, you, I think your superiors did because they sent me a letter. You can stop bowing now. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it, but please. <laughs> We're all friends here. Yeah, there's that. True. So what's going on that you need help from the Warrior of Light? Right. Of course they forbid you from reconstructing anything. Why wouldn't they, the unfeeling monsters? Right. Yeah, I can see how that would be a bit of a problem, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, those guys. So were they originally members of the Enclave as well? Or, or maybe they were just in the area, you know, like the, the surrounding parts of the Enclave. They have, yes. They've uh, done quite a bit for Revenant's Toll, if what Slathborn has told me has been any indication. Well, to be fair, they have been... I mean, I know that they consider Revenant's Toll a second home at this point, but they've probably been wondering when they can come back, so I'll give them, I'll give them a talk, sure. Hein, what, what are you doing here? I thought you were on the front lines. <laughs> what did you do? Stop home? Did you forget something? <laughs> Must have that teleporting technology. Okay, sure. What's up? Well, you know, they were just... They were in need, so we helped them out the best we could. Right, yeah, no, that's it. They have responsibilities to both places, yeah, I get it. And again, they'd probably want to come home, so. What do we got? Oh, a missive for Revenant's Toll. Okay, I see. Well, I think Slathborn would be glad to receive it, Hein. I'll do that for you. Pardon my interruption. I'm going to go teleport back to the war effort now. Okay, well, I'll give this get this missive to them, and we'll see what they have to say about uh, heading back here. Again, I think, uh, I think they'd be glad to come home finally, so that's good. Yeah, there is an etherite in the plaza, although I, I remember, I think I remember anyway, I think I remember Yugiri saying that only some people were blessed with the ability to teleport. I don't know how true that is or not, but, uh, you know. It's, it's as true as you need it to be. It's as true as the plot demands it, I guess. It's fine, I don't care. <laughs> Alright, let's go to Mordona and let Slathborn know that the Dolmens can finally go home. Uh, yes, I did have to come here. Cool. Slathborn, I have a message for you. And a fairly generous reward, if this is anything to... Anything to sneeze at. Yeah, directive from Lord Hine. You as Warrior of Light have a fuck ton of ether, so you can teleport freely. Most people can only do it very infrequently. Well, yeah. It was probably for something important, then, that Hine got back there. Maybe he uh, needed to retrieve something important that he wanted to keep with him on the battlefield. I don't know. <laughs> it, it, it is a big uh, habit of theirs, isn't it? I'll be honest, Slathborn, they'll probably feel the same way. They've probably grown quite accustomed to being around here. They've been here for, you know, well over a year at this point, so... Oh, okay, well, <laughs> field trip from Revenant's Tall. I guess that's fair. Well, there you go. And there's no shortage of adventurers around here, to be fair, so. Yeah, yeah it's going to be hard, but it's, it's going to be good for them because they can finally go home. It's just going to be tough around here, but, you know. All right, let's go see what uh, Hozan and the rest need to say. Might have also needed to relay stuff to the Eastern Alliance or something. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. 
I don't know, man. At this point, I'm coming up with an excuse, to be honest, because it's just like... I, I really honestly didn't expect him to be there, but whatever. Doesn't matter. It's not a big deal. Well, uh, actually, I have uh, good tidings for all of you, so... Uh, well, about that, actually. <laughs> There you go. You're only as old as you feel, homie. So if you don't feel old, that's the idea. Well, I do actually, Hozon. You might want to get everybody together so I can tell you all at the same time. But, yeah, you guys can finally return to Doma. The Enclave would like you back. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. You should probably go get them. <laughs> so yeah, you guys can return to the Enclave. They're, they're looking to reconstruct everything, and they need some uh, capable hands, and they figured you guys were as capable as they came, so. They are, yes. You can finally go home. I know you've been waiting to hear someone tell you that for a while, but... You can finally go home. I mean, I know this is home, too, but... Yeah, I mean, well... Revenant's Toll did, uh, open their arms to you when you came here. I'm not saying that you owe them anything, I'm just saying, you know... If you haven't said thank you, now might be a good time, since you're going to be leaving soon. And you have to remember that, uh, you know, that they were fresh off of a, an almost war with the Garleans at that point. It, it, was, uh, it was a tough time for a lot of people, so... I think that's fair. But how will you repay their kindness? Mm. <laughs> yeah, well. Oh, that might not be a bad idea. A little parting gifts and, you know, remember you by, I guess. Yeah, and that would be the problem. I mean, you guys could probably keep in contact. I just don't know how expensive uh, link shells would be for all of you. Probably very expensive. Oh, don't even start joking about that, homie. Come on. you. Again, you're only as old as you feel. Oh, my God. It's a little bit of a morbid joke, especially in current times. Well, I got nothing better to do at the moment, so I could help you. All right, sure. You can count on me. I will help you in any way that I can. So I gotta go to the northern gate. All right. Get your affairs in order, people. We'll be heading out, uh, well, I don't know if it'll, how soon it'll be, but you'll be heading out, so. All right, let's go see what they need at the northern gate. Uh, oh, over here. Okay. Assisting Doman refugees with their final preparations will take several minutes. You may wish to cancel any pending duty finder registrations. Okay, well, that's ominous, but all right. <laughs> Okay, so, let's keep an eye out for any of the domains that might need my help. Ah, that looks like one. <laughs> uh, I think that's Home. yeah. That's, uh, Higiri, I think, that was just running down there. Honestly, at the moment, homie, I have nothing to do. The the Eorzean Alliance doesn't need me on the front lines, and my friends are in a coma, so... That I can't cure with spells or sword slinging, so... Oh, okay. Hmm. Yeah, Alien's grandfather. I think he still hangs out at the Rising Stones, if I remember right. I'd have to go back and look. Hmm. 
Well, yeah, you built a bit of a camaraderie with him, I'll bet. His body's been getting the better? Oh, that doesn't sound good. Well, if it's a physical ailment, then you'll want to give him a physical uh, solution, because, like, I don't think he's blind. And a tonic for his memory is not a physical thing, so it's probably something for his back. You know, don't want him breaking a hip on us. Oh, <laughs> well, that's good. I, I guess I guessed correctly. Yeah, sure, that's what it is. I've definitely talked to Isildur more than once in my entire life. Of course. <laughs> You're welcome. Lucky guess. I don't think you have to get everything correctly in order to finish this up, but uh, they give you a series of questions, and if you get them correct, I don't think there's a specific reward either. It's just a matter of, you know... Um, it's just a matter of seeing if you answer correctly. So... Yeah, Ruinas has a big job here, don't they? <laughs> I've, I've been uh, a, a very frequent shopper of theirs on more than one occasion, so yeah, I can definitely say the same. Right. The raven-haired beauty by the gate. Are you talking about the lady with the dark hair on the left? I think the one in the middle is Oriana, so I think that's Eilina on the left, and then I don't remember the name of the Mikote girl, because honestly I've never used uh, her uh, shop, I don't think, at all. It may be. I might know her name? Not this, or this, or this. Okay, it's either Eilina or Oriana, and I don't want to do this guy wrong. I don't want to look it up. I think I might want to look it up. I think I might want to cheat. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, I want to do right by this guy, you know. Precious Reclamation. Let's see here. Whoop. That's the wrong one. It is not that one. That one. No, not that one. Where is it? It's here somewhere. It's what I said. Okay, got it. It's what I said. It's Eilina. Cool. I, I thought it was that, because I remember it, I remember it being like Eilina, then Oriana, and then Mikote girl that I don't remember the name of, so. <laughs> well, yeah, like I said, I've, I've, uh, I've used the house a lot, Dawar. I've used it for, like, three full expansions in terms of endgame gear, so, you know. Okay, good. Where'd uh, Higiri go? Wasn't she just down there looking for something? Mm hmm. I hope she found what she was looking for. I wonder who the little Mikote kid is next to uh, Dewari there. I don't think I've seen him or her around before. Is that the law fell from the Dolmen Adventurer's Guild quest? <laughs> what is he still doing here? Why isn't he, like, in custody or something? Did they just let him go? Or did he serve his sentence while we were fighting the war? Oh, boy. Oh, here's a Gary. The Carbuncle? Well, there is one that goes into the markets occasionally, so... <laughs> Yeah, there's this Makote in the markets here. I've, I've noticed this a few times when I've been in Revenant's Toll. There's this Makote that like, wanders around the markets looking for something. And the one time she mentioned that she was looking for a, for a carbuncle. So I was like, wait a minute. And then I, I don't remember if I've actually seen the carbuncle wandering around, but I have seen her wandering around. So Great. <laughs> 
gee, I wonder why that is. She must not have enough gym badges to make her carbuncle obey her. Okay, so this one's a trick question. Um, well, it's not obsidian and it's not topaz, but here's the thing. The carbuncle that runs around here is an emerald carbuncle. But, if I recall correctly, it is named Ruby. Which is a little confusing, especially for me, since I'm an arcanist and I'm capable of summoning a Ruby carbuncle, literally a red carbuncle. But, it, I think, if I remember right, it's named Ruby. Yeah, and that's why, is because it has the, the red jewel, so. Well, you're welcome. Glad I could help. Hopefully you find her. Okay, well, there we go. Yeah, I'm, I mean, it's, yeah, I can definitely see it from here, because the guy with the red there, I couldn't tell if that was the main Lalafell guy from the Doman Adventurer's Guild stuff, but the girl that was standing up there with the long, the female Lalafell on the left with the long hair, the one that's sleeping in the top left corner at the moment, who's going to run off, yeah, she's panicking now, definitely them, okay, what the hell are they doing? <laughs> Ozan, what's up? Oh, yeah, no problem. What do you need? Yep, I'm well familiar with them. You're, I'm sure, well familiar with them, too. Yeah, the, the adventurers here generally get a lot of purpose when Slavborn puts them to work, so... <laughs> oh, nice. Uh... I don't know if he needs a more elaborate gift, honestly. Yeah, like, this this answer definitely doesn't seem correct. Why don't you just try to stay in touch? Again, I know link shells are very expensive, but maybe just send letters? Carrier pigeons and stuff? I don't know. That would be what I'd do. Maybe they're doing community service or in the middle of a break? Oh, I... <laughs> That's a very optimistic thought process there, Conker. I hope you're right. <laughs> That's that's all he really wants, I think, Hozan. You don't need anything flashy and expensive, just the thought. They say it's the thought that counts, so... Yeah. Well, yeah, and I mean, he probably hasn't been able to try a dried persimmon, so... Cool. So how'd we do? Good. Sounds like everybody got what they needed. Oh, don't worry about it. It's fine. <laughs> you guys are fine. Just at, just helping out where it's needed. Okay. So it sounds like they're almost ready to go. Yeah, probably a good idea. No, that's probably also a good idea. I'll come with you. Uh, do I need anything from here? Not really. I'll just take the silver. It's fine. <laughs> Not that I need the silver. It got 540 pieces of silver burning a hole in my chocobo saddlebag that I, uh, will most definitely be using very shortly, but I'll, I'll worry about that in a minute. All right. So, ready to go talk to Slathborn then, Hozan? Probably a good idea, you know, before they start really packing everything up. Okay. Then I will wait for you down the hill. So let's go see Slathborn. I really wish Noah would get out of that poor girl's body. Like, he's been in there for a fucking year, man. Like, I'm starting to think he just has a fetish. It's disgusting. At least the once-a-day recurring quest in uh, Heaven's Ward that requires you to go to Dunsky doesn't require elegant possession in order for it to work. Like, just stick him in a tombstone or something, or stick him in a book like Prin. I don't know. Anything to give her her body back. Uh, they're running around like rats, trying to make sure they're all ready to go and, you know, trying to repay everybody's kindness, so... Probably for the best. Class is going to be starting soon, so you're moving over to mobile and be behind in the stream till class is over. All right, Conquer, no problem. Don't work too hard in class, then. Just glad that you, like you said before, got yourself some food, so you're, you know, good to go for class. Uh, 
sounds like they got their affairs in order fairly quickly then. <laughs> They've definitely left their mark here, that's for sure. You could even call it an ending to mark a new beginning, but that might be also a little morbid. I promised myself I wasn't gonna cry. <laughs> Good thing you got food before, and yeah, for sure, for sure. Then yeah, there's also that. Uh, the Enclave will be better for all the crafting and gathering they learned to do while they were here. That's not a bad idea, actually. Just stay in touch. That's all that matters here. Right. Oh, you guys still kept the lost treasure? Holy crap. It's probably been aged pretty well then by now. <laughs> it's going to be quite a celebration when you guys bring that home. Oh, boy. <laughs> You're welcome. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I'm surprised that uh, Slathmore and the rest of the adventurers didn't indulge in the treasure. All things considered, that's a pretty fine wine. Oh, Philomene wants to see the kids? Okay, sure. Yeah, that's probably fair. We don't want the kids drinking wine. <laughs> I think I might even know where they are, to be honest. They usually hang out in the back there, and it looks like the... Uh, yeah, the party indicators kind of give me an idea of where they are anyway. Or rather, the uh, map indicator. They're up by where their parents were. Yep, here's the kids. What's going on? Uh, well, I have, but not for very long, so... Oh, you know, just business as usual. Trying to keep in good spirits around the kids, because they don't need to know all my woes. Uh, well, actually, I was more here to tell you that Philomene was looking for you. No, no, no. You're absolutely right. You guys are very important guild members at this point, and they really should have ran this by you before they decided. But, that being said, Philomene said she needed your help, so... No, 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 no. Not like that. Not like that. No. She, she just needs your help with something. That's all. Oh, uh, yes, sir. <laughs> all right, then. I mean, I guess I am pretty much an honorary member. If I remember right, Philomene's up on the second floor there, and it looks like the map indicator is, yeah, telling me so. Okay. I think she's usually behind the bar in the Rising Stones, but uh, in this particular case, I think she's up here, so. We'll find out shortly. Uh, yep, there she is. Oh, here they are, reporting for duty. <laughs> oh dear god. Please don't make them infiltrate the Garlean structure over there. <laughs> Ooh, a reward. Fancy. Sounds like all the adventuring you've been doing is finally paying off. Oh, there you go. Good job, Adventurer's Guild. Ooh, where's the treasure? Where's the reward? In a treasure chest. <laughs> well, Philomene's years of uh, performing arts would make sense here, because she's, she would know how to dress this sort of stuff up, you know. You're really good with them, you know that? <laughs> 
Ooh, what'd they get? Let's go have a look. They got a bunch of berets. <laughs> nice. Well, they match your shoes, I think. It's a little dark, so I can't quite see. It's because of the gloom over our heads, so... <laughs> oh, Corey. Coltonet, hey. Uh, away is a strong word. They were on important scion business, but... Yeah, someone's got to keep everybody uh, protected over there. I mean, you know, Hein and them, but they're on the front lines at the moment. Yeah, all you guys got to do is just, you know, hone your skills, and then one day you can return to a Revenant's Tall and you can see everybody again. That's all. I hope they will. For what it's worth, I think you can do it. Yes. Thanks for coming, guys. Appreciate it. I'm pretty sure Philomene was the one that made the arrangements, but yeah, it's probably good of them to, you know, get some words from you guys. They did look up to you pretty highly, so. Uh, try to do that one by one and, you know, make sure if the adults offer to help, you let them. <laughs> You're welcome. I mean, I didn't make them, but you're welcome. That was nice of Phil, I mean, to give them some hats to remember them by. <laughs> it never gets easier, does it? To be fair, I don't have any kids, but I've heard it never gets easier. And that was also a bit morbid, now that I think about Menphilia's fate. Yikes. Oh, this is the girl that was uh, at the stalls there. Apparently she's one of their friends. All right, cool. <laughs> I don't know, it sounds like playtime now, Roka. Uh-oh. Oh yeah, you don't want to get seasick, Yozan. That wouldn't be good. <laughs> That might not be a bad idea. Then you can uh, try some, you know, Western cooking, and then she can try some Eastern cooking. Far Eastern cooking. I don't know, Dewar. You guys have that all under wraps, I'm sure. Hmm. It'll be your home away from home, that's all. I think so. I think it was it was very nice of her to do that for them. Okay, so you guys have the ship. You'll just probably you'll just head out from uh, what's it called from where the Waking Sands is in, in Horizon then, or Vesper Bay rather. Oh, Hozan, don't worry about it. It's fine. I'm just doing what what needs to be done. That's all. You're welcome. Just doing what I can. That's all. Well, I could pass along the message for you. I could probably teleport there fairly quickly, so... Okay, so let's head back to the Enclave and let them know that uh, all is well with the Domans and they will be home within the next few weeks. They're, they're sending some of the Domans away from the Enclave to help with the war effort, and now there's going to be crafters and gatherers heading home. It's a win-win. Now, as long as the people uh, that are sent off to the war effort end up home, that would be a win-win-win. Kozakura. Yes, I have just teleported back. They are ready to go. They just need to get on the ship, and then they will be here. Have dinner now. Hope you don't miss too much. All right, SB, we'll take it easy. I don't think you're going to miss too much, to be honest. Um, for once you're done with dinner there. it shouldn't. I don't think it'll be too long before you're done with dinner. Dinner usually doesn't take too long for me anyway, so if I'm judging by my own experience, you know. Mm. 
Won't take too long, hopefully. Alright, well, sounds good. We'll see him when you get back, then. Yeah, just let him know. He, I'm sure he's back at the war effort now, but, you know. I will do what I can, Kozakura, not to worry. I mean, you'll have plenty of hired hands to help, but I will do what I can. Well, I mean, you know, I was just here, so <laughs> don't worry about it. Well, I'm glad to hear that they're getting home fairly safely, and now it's just a matter of waiting until they get here, so... So what are your plans for rebuilding the Enclave? Now, what's the problem? I mean, I am fairly independently wealthy, but I've done so off of free company profiteering, so... <laughs> okay, well, what do you have in mind? Yeah, I'll lend a hand. Don't worry about it. Let's let's hear what you have to say. Well, I'll do, I'm doing what I can. The the domains that were in Revenant's Toll are dear friends, and I love those damn kids. So, <laughs> helping you guys out with it is just kind of an extension, you know. Yeah, how are we looking at the moment? What's the sit rep? It was pretty bad, yeah, when you guys, uh, when we first got back here. But I see you guys have made some headway. Right. Now that's no good. You guys are gonna have to invest in hydroponics or something. Great. <laughs> Yeah, I can I can see how that would be. I mean, now that you guys are a part of the Eorzean Alliance, it'll probably get a little easier, but it's still... I mean, you're kind of off in the middle of nowhere here, so... Right, yeah, and you guys are kind of missing out on some vital components. Sounds like you guys have got a lot of work to do. Well, yeah, no, I get that, but sometimes you need... Everybody needs a little help here and there, so... I was going to say, is that where you got the name of the Shazen Kai, basically? I don't know if I was supposed to know what the Shazen Kai was before this, but I did know because I, I know it was notated when I was looking up these quests, so I just put it in my notes as the Shazen Kai. No, it's fine. It's, it's good to see. I'm glad you guys are uh, passionate about rebuilding your homeland, so... Okay. Sure. You can go there. Whoops. Let's go see what we've got here. Let's get apprised of the situation uh, that they have here while they're rebuilding. Mitsuba, I heard you're the person to see around here to get a sit rep about the state of the Enclave's restoration. Uh, no, I'm I'm all right. <laughs> Thank you, though. Yeah, what's the operation you got going here? <laughs> nice to meet you. A little bit of a jack-of-all-trades, then, huh? 10,000 stalls, huh? Is that like a... Just a title of the place, or... Looks more like the 10,000 supply crates at the moment, to be honest. <laughs> I'm not trying to discount your work, I'm just saying. I think my character's also just saying. <laughs> yeah, well. Well, good. It's good that you have a plan like that in place. Just gotta make it there, but I mean, you know, one day at a time. Right. Yeah, especially if you guys can get some foreign trade going with the Aorazine Alliance, that should help quite a bit. Hey, it makes sense to me. It's, uh, you know, make sure people are fed well, they'll be able to work harder, so. No, I can think of a few ways I can contribute, sure.
Okay, sure. I can indulge for a little longer. I haven't gotten a call yet, so... Alright, let's go see... Well, alright then. Let's go see what else, uh... What else Kozakura's got in mind here? Yeah, like we said, you guys have got a lot of work ahead of you, but that doesn't mean that it's going to be, you know... If it's overbearing, uh, for what it's worth, I'd like to help with it to make it less overbearing. Okay, sure, I can do that. I mean, you don't have to do that part. I would rather you guys, you know, make the most of what I contribute, but if you're... if you really want to, I guess I can take it. Okay. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. So with this quest being over, the Dolmen Enclave's reconstruction has now started. So here's how this works. You come here to the donation basket once per week, and you can contribute to the reconstruction effort. Any and all loot that you get has some value when it goes into the donation basket. It doesn't matter if it's void scent blood all the way up to like Allegan pieces. You can use it and contribute to the, the reconstruction effort. They need everything. And when she says everything, she literally means everything. Now, obviously, if you want to make it feel more contributable in character, you could make them food or you could make them crafted items or gather raw materials they need and that sort of a thing. And I'm sure Kozakura would tell us all of that if we did that, but... Now that I have started this, we can finally talk about why I have all of these Allegan silver pieces in my inventory, in my Chocobo saddlebag, because these are what I'm going to use to pay for the reconstruction effort. What you need when you do the reconstruction effort is you need a total of, I think if I remember right, uh, I think it's like 270,000 gil to help them fully contribute, but it cannot be gil that you have down here in your money inventory. It has to be a money vehicle of some kind. A crafted item, a gathered item, a, you know, a, t a token of some kind, that sort of a thing. And you can contribute to whatever uh, you want to contribute to. So that's what we'll do real quickly to the donation basket. Um, you have a weekly budget, though, of 20,000 gil. Uh, so you have to do it within that uh, gil there. And then their gratuity rate is listed up at the top here where it says 120%. That's how much you'll get out of it um, for helping them pay. So out of character, my reasoning for this is, well, I have all these silver pieces, this is how I'm going to pay for all of this. But in character, these silver pieces would obviously come from donations and different other things that I made for them. So let me see here. I need to split this. We need 20,000, so that means I need, I think 30 is like 15,000, right? Oh, I can't do that while I'm occupied. All right, let's do this then. Uh, split 30. There we go. Let's try it that way and see how much that gives gives 18,000. Okay, so that means uh, four more will give them the weekly donation of 20,000. So I need a total of 34. Okay. Uh, I guess I could just use these and then split two more of these off. There we go. So 34 will give them the weekly contribution that I can make. So let's do that. Uh, 20,000 for... Oh, right, because of the gratuity rate, it's going to be a little over. Um, if I go to 33, what does that do for me? Let's see. Having to do a little bit of on-the-fly calculations here. Okay, so 19,800. All right, um, we'll do 34 then, that's fine. I guess I could also donate, like, this, these high elixirs and this materia that I don't need. I'm getting so close. <laughs> Uh, actually take those off. I'll, I'll do something with those. Just donate these. There we go. So yeah, our total. We'll give them the 20,000. Now, it's it's more than 20,000 here, but the, the idea is you want to get as close to 20,000 as possible. That's the main idea. So let's donate. Uh, yep, it's fine that it exceeds it. That's no big deal. If I need more silver pieces, I can do ventures with my retainers, so that's fine. So we'll contribute. Oh, you're welcome. Just had them laying around, I might as well, you know, do something with them. Sure, I'll take a look. 
some quick progress you've got going on here. So let's just go have a look, see at what they did uh, with the money that I've just donated for them, with the money vehicles. And then I will talk about uh, the elephant in the room. And we'll, uh, we'll get to that in a moment. Let's see what Mitsuba has to say about the, the large contribution I've made. <laughs> Well, you're welcome. Anything I can do to help. I can kind of already see it, honestly. You just have to make sure that the roofing is capable of, uh, you know, keeping the, the smoke and stuff out. You don't want that filtering back down towards the stuff. It'll make the job unbearable for your cooks, so... I'm going to do more leave Questic Adventures to send out your retainers, but that's for later. There's that, yeah. Um, you can also buy ventures from your grand company with company seals. You can get them from uh, the Ixal quests if you haven't done those yet. Um, I think the the when you eventually get Stormblood, the, uh, the Namazu also give ventures. But there's a few different ways you can get ventures, and they're, they're usually not too hard to get once you start doing some of the later stuff, like Centurio seal hunting and that sort of a thing, so... Yeah, I wouldn't worry about it too much just yet, Conquer. It's not a huge deal. Uh, While well, you're in a Realm Reborn, anyway. Yeah, you're going to need a little protein in there, I think, other than just the rice, so. There, that is a bit of a problem, isn't it? Especially those weird, bulging head things with, like, 7,000 shark teeth in their mouth. Jesus. I can't even imagine somebody tripping over one of those. Uh, speaking of tripping, sound like someone just tripped. Hello? Yeah, Grand Company seals are a thing you can use, yeah. So if you got a few sitting around, you could always use those to get ventures going. Are these guys from the Asm Step? Which Lupin? Are you talking about Hakuro? Well, there's no sheep around here, but they probably have some foodstuffs. There you go. I guess, you know, one hand feeds the other. <laughs> Why are all the aura of the step just, like, really, really dramatic? <laughs> like, overly so in a lot of cases. Oh, so that's what booze is. Okay, so it's like a rice ball. Got it. I had no freaking idea. Oh, it's a dumpling. Okay. Yeah, meat is the big problem at the moment. Anything you can do to help us, uh, Buduga brothers? Oh, okay, well, that takes care of that problem, I guess. Hmm. Uh, that's gonna be a bit of a problem. Yeah, he's kind of fighting a war at the moment, guys. I don't think he can, you know, just wander out here. He did have a fair bit of fun in the step when he was, you know, helping out with them all, but, you know. <laughs> but any you can contribute would still help. Construction of the 10,000 stalls is proceeding apace, and talks with the traders of Reunion may soon lead to a wider variety of foodstuffs. As you continue to contribute to the Shazen Kai and the reconstruction effort, in what other ways might the Doman Enclave grow and change? That is the question. And I have an answer. And I've unlocked the Ixal, at least think so, or need to be in Disciple of the Hand land before they'll actually do business with it. Yeah, you just need to be in a Disciple of the Hand or land, and then they will help you out from there. So, that's how that goes. In any case, um, elephant in the room here. Why am I doing all of this when I have two quests left before the end of the patch content before, between Stormblood and Shadowbringers? Because in character, I've come to a decision. My friends are in a coma, and there is not a single damn thing that I can do about it at the moment. The war effort is proceeding fairly apace. Rory's over there taking care of business. They have the entirety of the Eorzean Alliance helping out there, over there. There are plenty of adventures to keep things uh, going smoothly on the war front. And Alamigo's economy has been fairly well taken care of. 
all things considered. They've got, you know, Monago's helping out with the, the Widows and Orphans Fund. I started a school that will then lead to many other artisan schools. Uh, you know, they've got the whole contribution from Old Dog going for them. All Amigos' economy is in a good place, and the war effort is in a good place. My friends are not in a good place, but there isn't much I can do about it at the moment. I just need to let the doctors do their work. Doma, on the other hand, is in a bit of a bad place, because they are, they're receiving, the, the Domans from Revenant's Toll are being received again here at the Enclave, and, you know, the kids are coming back, everything like that, but really, think about it. You know, Alamigo has Lise, Alamigo has Monago, and the whole M tribe. Alamigo has a lot of the members of the resistance to keep things going there for, you know, keeping people in check, being a figure for them to, to be led by. They have Roban. Who do the Domans have? Hein is off on the front lines. Yugiri and Hakuro are taking care of the war effort, and you, frankly, Yugiri's off on the front lines as well. Who do they have? Who do the kids have? when they come back here to act as their mentor. Because, like, Osetsu can't do it. He's off on his own. He has to figure his own shit out. He's off on an adventure to figure his own mind out. And that's... And I was thinking about it when I was thinking about the whole thing with Nybeth. And in character, I think having learned what Nybeth's soul obsession was and how he was driving towards it with no chance of thinking about the consequences, I might find a little hubris in that. And figure, you know what? Everything else is well taken care of on that front. And again, there's plenty of strong adventurers over there. I used to think that being the warrior of light would have something to do with me being the strongest person so that no one else would have to get hurt. But there are plenty of adventurers out there that are pr plenty stronger than I am. But this here, the reconstruction effort in Doma, this is something I can do. This is something that I can apply myself towards. I don't have to just contribute money over the course of several different periods of time. I can make a, sh a sure difference here. I'm capable of crafting and gathering and getting resources together for them. Look at all of these crafting and gathering classes that I have leveled. I also have Carpenter leveled to 80. I can make a real difference here. And I can be the mentor that those kids need in their lives, the kids of the Adventurers Guild need when they return. So, it may seem a bit sudden, but I think for now, this is where I will stay. This is where I will stay. Come over here for a second, Interceptor. We need to say goodbye to the people. Let's give you one last hand over and one last pet before we say our farewells. So until we get more news on what is going on with our friends, this is so long. We will see uh, how my efforts in the reconstruction go as I do this. And maybe, just maybe, one day, one day soon, we will return for the next episode of Final Fantasy XIV, the stream edition, where we will tackle the third major expansion, Shadowbringers. That day is not today, unfortunately. In character, taking a break to think about your path forward, considering all you've done and have seen, and help out where you can. Exactly, Conquer. Taking a break, since there's nothing I can do at the moment other than help out the Domans. So we're going to help out the Domans. Welcome back, Espy. Yeah, you, you hit the very end of the stream there. So, thank you for watching, everybody. I appreciate you coming out to Twitch and YouTube to check out the stream. I hope you've enjoyed this playthrough of Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood. I had fun. There were some parts I didn't like, but I had fun overall. And until the next time we play this game, or whenever I see you next, I hope you'll take care and have a good night. Still, though, throw wide the gates? What the hell is he even talking about? Oh, well.